Hey everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Astronomers examining images taken by the Hubble Space Telescope have identified the most distant galaxy yet discovered. A team of astronomers from the University of California Riverside, the University of Texas, Texas A&M University, and the National Optical Astronomy Observatories found the object in an image taken by the Hubble as part of the CANDLES project, a survey specifically designed to search for the most distant ancient objects in the universe. This image you've been seeing is an artist's rendering of the galaxy, designated Z8GND5296. This is the actual Hubble image with a magnified inset showing the galaxy itself. As you can see, the galaxy is significantly redshifted. In fact, it's redshifted to a magnitude of 7.5, a record and the strongest evidence for its incredible distance from Earth and its age. The light recorded by this image originated over 13 billion years ago, a mere 700 million years after the Big Bang. From the wonders of the universe on its grandest scale, we now turn to wonders much smaller and nearer. A new study conducted at University College London shows that neurons, individual brain cells, can process visual input and perform important computations. Prior to this study, it was widely assumed that computations of visual information, such as those that allow us to perceive the orientation of an object, required large numbers of neurons all working together. The researchers at UCL, collaborating with scientists from Cambridge and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, demonstrated that computations such as those are carried out by the dendrites of individual neurons. It was previously thought that the dendrites, tiny branches at the end of neurons, acted merely to channel sensory input through to the cell nucleus, called the soma. This new study suggests that dendrites are actually tiny, surprisingly powerful computers incorporated into every neuron in the brain. Finally, two new types of microscope developed by the National Institute of Biomedical Imaging and Bioengineering here in the U.S. are allowing scientists to view tiny, fast-moving organisms in real time with an unprecedented level of detail. The new microscopes, called the iSIM and the DiSPIM, respectively, are improvements on established designs that allow researchers to obtain sharp, high-resolution images of living cells and organisms and observe and study these microscopic objects in real time. Never before has it been possible to observe live cells with this degree of detail and clarity. Look at this footage of actual live blood cells moving inside a live zebrafish embryo, taken using the iSIM. Astronomers find the most distant galaxy yet, again. Researchers discover that the brain is even more powerful than we thought it was, and new microscopes allow scientists to study life on the smallest scale in a way that was never possible before. That's the good news. You did so good that time, you didn't complain once. Oh.